Hello again, I'm Joe Barry and I work for Visuality Systems. In this video, we will begin looking at Wireshark more in detail. We will follow through a simple shared file access operation and inspect the SMB packets that were involved in that operation. So let's begin. Let's run Wireshark by double clicking on this icon. And we'll see at the bottom here, a list of the various interfaces that Wireshark can monitor. If you don't know which interface you want to monitor, you can select them all. So we are going to monitor Ethernet 3 because I know that this happens to be my VPN connection. I'll double click on it. And now monitoring has started. We will now open up a file explorer window to the server that I want to take a look at. And we'll see here that I am now connected via the network to my remote server. And as you see here, our, our list of all the various shares that are available on that server. Let's open up this particular share, client test three. We'll double click on it. And we note that it is empty. No files are in here. We'll create a file, new file over here. And we'll call our file, my file. And now let's add some text to that file by editing it. This is some data. Let's save the file. Note the location of where the file is. We hit save. And now we have a file on our share. Let's go back to Wireshark. And as you can tell, we have been collecting packets as we move along here. Let's stop the process by clicking on the stop button here. Let's also save what we have done up to this point in time by clicking on File, Save As, and we'll call our captured data demo. We'll hit Enter, and we will see now. I'm going to drag it from my other window to here so you can see the file that was created. It's called Demo PCAP NG. Now, as you notice here, there are no SMB packets. That's because we've been collecting everything and we have been displaying everything. As you may recall from a previous video, we can change what is displayed by entering a filter into the display filter window. So let's enter SMB or SMB2, which we know means dialect 2 as well as dialect 3. We'll hit enter and now we're seeing SMB packets. Let's maximize the screen. So you may recall the negotiate packets that are shown here deal with the negotiation of the dialect between the client and the server. The next set of packets we've discussed also are packets that deal with the authentication of the user, who the user is, what kind of authentication we want to use. We want to now look at how was it that SMB presented us with our list of shares on the remote server. How did we get that list of shares? So there is a particular command that we want to take a look at that returns that information. So we look down for that packet and we find that it's over that we're looking for is here. NetShare enum all. This is our request for a list of all the shares that are on this remote server. Where is the response to that? Okay, let's open up the information that shows us the response is in frame 79. Note that we're on frame 75 here and 79 is down here. I can click on this or I can simply double click over here and we're at frame 79. If we look at the actual binary data down here, we'll actually can, we can actually see the names as they appear on the right hand in ASCII. Or what we could do also is to look at the list of data by following the pointer here. Control one more time. There are 24 shares. And if we open this up, we see array items for each of the shares. Let's just open up one of them here. 
What is the name? It is Client Test 2. Let's open up another one arbitrarily, and we'll note here that this one is called Client Test 5. And that is how we managed to get the list of all of the various shares that are on that server. In our next video, we're going to continue looking at some of the packets that we have collected during this session. We'll look at the Tree Connect, which is what we see right over here, and understand how that works, and at some of the various pointers and their importance. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.